Line this puppy up. Off we go. Five, four, three. It's episode 293, and we've got plugins for timesheets, locking content, Instagram feeds, geotargeting, cloning sidebars, and more. It's all coming up next on WordPress Plugins A to Z. WordPress. It's the most popular content management and website solution on the internet. And with over 30,000 plugins to choose from, how do you separate the junk from the gems? Join John Overall and Marcus Couch for this weekly unrehearsed conversation about the latest and greatest in WordPress plugins. This is WordPress Plugins A to Z. Well, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be hiding out there on the globe today. Coming to you direct from the Great White North, which is truly white today with over three inches of snow on the ground and more in forecast, I'm John Overall. And from rainy but pleasant Laguna Beach, California, I'm Marcus Couch. Yeah, it's definitely uh, big and snowy and cold up here in uh, Victoria, which is kind of unusual for this time of year, but, you know, kids are enjoying it. At any rate, as you heard, it's episode 293, and we're pushing along towards that great big milestone of episode 300, and we're working on some things which will hopefully excite everyone out there. We'll be announcing them real soon, I hope. Absolutely. A lot to do, and 300 is a huge milestone. We're going to be hitting it within the next couple months, and uh, I hope everybody will uh, join us in the 300-episode celebration. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, of course, don't forget, right off the top, you can get all the show notes over at WPPlugins, A to Z.com. And if you got a couple of minutes, we'd greatly appreciate your time on Stitcher Radio, either hitting that little thumbs-up button in the corner or leaving something on their website for us. Or if you listen through us the iTunes store, drop in there and leave us a review. That really helps the store out. That's right. It does help us within the rankings. We are consistently in the top three in terms of WordPress podcasts we would love to get that number one slot and we need your help to do it so please help us out on itunes also remember that you can follow this show on twitter at wp plugins a to z absolutely and of course don't forget uh this is where we usually put our self-promotions i don't really have any self-promotions right now because i'm pretty booked up solid for the next several weeks but uh, if you're looking for uh, jobs or you've got jobs to push out there, we've got the uh, jobs board over at WPPluginsAtoZ.com forward slash jobs, which hopefully over time it'll start to become value to everyone. So go check it out. Absolutely. And I'm going to uh, throw a plug in for my new company, which is X Squared Marketing. You can visit X2Marketing.com or find me on Twitter at X2Marketing. Uh, we're handling a lot of projects that require, uh, you know, a lot of emailing, things like that, uh, done with Infusionsoft or one of the other campaign builders. Um, got a lot going on there, so I hope that you'll check me out. And if you have a WordPress project that's pretty big and uh, you're considering hiring some external help in terms of marketing, please consider me at x2marketing.com. Check it out, folks. Marcus, Marcus is pretty great at that stuff. All right, and this is the segment here where we want to thank our donors. And uh, as the donors start to increase and help support the show, the show is getting better and better. All you got to do is go back two or three years or even one and a half, two years, and you'll see how this show has dramatically improved along with its website. And a lot of it in the last year in particular is due to the donations that everyone has provided so far. So at that said, we've got this week a $50 donor from mineability.com. I don't know who the person was. There was no name attached to it, just mineability.com. I'd really like to give a thanks to the person, but they left a note and here it is. We just wanted to say that we love your weekly podcast and that we thoroughly enjoy every episode. Keep up the great work, guys. This donation is on behalf of Hype Studio, hypestudio.org, developers of Hype Social Buffer. It's a free and pro plugin that connects to your WordPress site to a buffer app, enables you to select scheduled old posts straight from your WordPress dashboard. And they also have another product called Social Web Suite. So check it out, folks. There's links in the show notes to everything they got here. They've also got a discount code for listeners of the WP Plugin Show. You can go mention the promo code WP Plugins A to Z and get a discount on their uh, Social Suite plugins. So go nice. check them out. 
I'll have to check that out for a review on the show pretty and, soon. That would be great. And thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate the donation. For everyone who came in under $50, you know who you are. Thank you very much. And for the Patreons who are still supporting us, we really appreciate it. That money came through this week. So thank you very much to all our Patreon supporters. And you can support us through Patreon by going to patreon.com slash WP plugins A to Z. Yes, we do appreciate that a lot. And just a little bit adds up. If you can just spare even five bucks a month, that really, really does help us out. It does add up when so many listeners help us like that. So uh, please consider us. We are here every single week for you uh, without fail. Uh, we typically, even even if I know that I'm going to be out of town, John and I will double up on shows just so that we don't miss any in the stream. So please uh, do your part. Help us out. Donate either directly or through Patreon. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah, and we do our part. I know I'm sitting here with a completely numb lower lip today just so I can get the show recorded because <laughs> schedules were just too off. Dental work right. and uh, makes the voice sound funny and the lip really weird talking. Hmm. I can barely tell. Yeah, well, you know, working hard to keep it keep it normal. <laughs> so anyway, what else we got this week? We got some news, a uh, couple of really interesting pieces of news, mostly about security and around your WordPress website. It's very important if you haven't already updated to WordPress 7.2, they announced late last week that in the previous week when they did the 7.2 update, they did a secret update at the same time. They were fixing a zero-day flaw in uh, WordPress. It was a cross-scripting error of some sort. I read about it, but it's slipping my mind at the moment. Anyway, there's a couple, three articles in here discussing it and uh, the dangers to your website if you don't update it. You might want to check them out. And there's also an article in here about Google is sending out another new round of outdated plugin emails. So if you've got your site registered with Google Tools, um, you will get an email if you've got outdated plugins from Google. Google's uh, looking at WordPress plugins, comparing them, and reminding people. Kind of a new twist on Google. I remember seeing those quite some time back, but I didn't give them much thought. But I guess they're going to continue it. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Um, other WordPress sort of interesting things that I'd like to man uh, talk about. Um, for those of you that watched the Super Bowl, you saw a couple of things. One, you saw kind of a, a funny meme-based GoDaddy commercial about the internet. And the guy had a tattoo just above his navel that said, Plug Life. <laughs> and he's talking about plugins instead of Thug Life. It's Plug Life. And that was a pretty funny commercial. But I also saw something very, very interesting. Uh, they had commercials for both Wix and Squarespace hmm. during the Super Bowl. Be wary of that, people. Uh, come up with some rebuttals if one of your clients says, eh, you know, I want to try Squarespace or I want to try Wix. Um, arm yourself with the facts and figure out what you're going to tell a client when they say they want to try these platforms instead of WordPress. Absolutely. Tell them the limitations and some of the things that it can do and can't do. Yep. And I, I would love to have seen a WordPress commercial. That would have been great. But... Um, that's probably not in the cards in terms of how the expenditure and the money goes. But uh, awesome. uh, very interesting nonetheless. The GoDaddy commercial was hilarious. The entire yeah. world got rickrolled. <laughs> cool. I didn't watch the uh, Super Bowl, but I hear it was a great show. That's what I heard too. Okay. We have some listener feedback this week. So... First off, we've got a couple of uh, iTunes reviews, both are good ones. So first one from the U.S., a five-star review from Fritz Barnes, and it's uh, titled Listening for a Few Months. Hey, guys, I listen to your show almost every week. Initially, I was not really enthusiastic about the overall concept because I didn't feel I needed to learn about random plugins. I just thought I can find what I need when I need it. But it turns out there are plugins that I won't find on my own because I don't even know what I should be looking for then. This is where you guys come in. You have definitely added value to my WordPress experience. Thank you and keep up the good work. Fritz from bizpromedia.com. Very nice. Thanks, Fritz. And I am going to read a review from the United Kingdom. It's a five-star review from a gentleman named Mark Gitos. And the title of it is, I'm tuning out. 
That's a weird five-star review heading, but here's, here's the synopsis. This show is the best for plug-in discovery and review. However, after a few weeks of being preached to and guilt-tripped, I'm tuning out. I scour podcasts for free subscriptions. This is listed as free, and as such, I've been listening for a few months. I am being told that the equipment is being bought with funding. Well, sorry, lads. Listening to your podcast from old to new, there's real, really no quality in the sounds. If anything, it's worse. The constant interruptions or Skype sounding sounds interrupting the drop in airspace does not provide VFM. Whatever that is. That. Yeah. I listen to a lot of podcasts. Gary V, Tim Ferriss, Pat Flynn, Social Media Examiner. Not only where the sound quality is excellent, I'm not being barraged week after week for money. For this reason, sadly, I love the show, but I am out of here. Well, I want to address this. What? All right, I'll let you address first. And... Uh, okay, yeah, you got something too. Yeah, I got but something to say to it. You're mentioning Gary V, which is Gary Vaynerchuk, which uh, he charges, I don't know, what, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to speak, owns a 600-employee uh, media company and marketing company. Tim Ferriss, the guy who's written New York Times bestsellers, had his own CNN show and everything else. Uh, Pat Flynn, social media examiner. I mean, those guys put on... Uh, conferences, Social Media Examiner does Social Media World in San Diego. You're talking about four multi-million dollar productions there. And of course, they're not going to ask you for money because they already make it in a different way. And we don't do that. We are both freelancers that work on projects that that struggle in terms of making it happen. And what we do here is a labor of love. And all we're asking for is just to chip in just to give us that little tip that you probably would give a waitress or somebody like that at a restaurant after going out for a big, nice dinner. Uh, that's all we're asking for. If you heard me in the early on in the show, I said five bucks a month and that's for four shows, a dollar 25 a show. I'm, I'm not asking a lot, but I am asking. And that's the difference. And I'm sorry, Mark, that you had such an experience that you don't want to listen to the show anymore, but that's, that's the breaks. We're doing the best we can with what we have. All right. Well, Mark. Um, well, Mark may have abandoned us, but many other listeners are still out there and understand why we ask for donations week after week. This show is due to us making this a value for value show more than anything else. Like I had a lot of trouble in the beginning, beginning to even ask listeners for donations. It just sort of was odd to me at first. Got easier the more I did it, but one of the things is we provide a show that if you get any value out of it, you should consider giving value back. I mean, there's two or three podcasts out there that I listen to on a regular basis, and they're value for value, and I give them value for value. I donate to their shows. Now, I don't donate on a consistent, regular basis all the time because I don't always have the money, but when I do, I donate, and sometimes I donate big. One of my favorite shows, I donated pretty big to them this last week because I've had some good couple of months. At any rate, you know, when you find that the show is of value, you should give back. If you don't feel we're giving no value, well, tune out. Don't listen to us. Um, or send us an email and say, hey, your show is crap. You're doing this wrong. Or you think, or you, we think that you are not providing value week after week with your show. As for the sound issue, well, I was going to address that, but I realized it was a pointless thing. I had a whole rant about it all written, but then I just threw it out the window. The reason was I realized is that over time, this show's sound has gone up and down the scale. And it's been through me using various forms of inexpensive or cheap equipment. Now, recently I did buy a fairly decent quality equipment. It's not top of the line. I can't afford that quite yet, but it was due to the donations. And by buying that equipment, I realized there are problems along the way of getting the equipment to sort out. I'm thinking this week here might actually have finally found all the little hums and bums in the thing. At any rate, currently, you know, one of the things that comes to mind is when I hear people tuning out or saying things that it brings to mind something that I was told by a former boss some many years ago and something I've learned through all my years. If you're ever feeling like you're going to be missed in anything, do this. Put your finger in a bucket of water, then pull that finger out. 
the length of time that hole remains is the length of time you're going to be missed. Meaning that, well, we might miss, miss listeners, or would this show be missed if we just decided to wrap it up and close it down? Maybe for a short time, but not very long. People would move on to something else. So currently, I'm not planning to close the show down, but I have been doing it for over five years. And in that time period, I realized that you know we're hitting almost 300 episodes. And in the last eight months of that 500 years, only in the last eight months have we started to see any income at all from this show. In the previous five years, we had nothing. Lots of people telling us how great the show was, but nobody donating until we started asking and started guilt tripping them, basically saying, hey, you're getting value? Time to kick that value back. So that's the reason why we do that. You know, it doesn't change. And uh, if it doesn't change, though, in the next year of it coming back, I may treat the show like I used to treat it, as the redheaded stepchild that only gets a portion of my time. The reason the show has gotten so much time is due to the donations. If the donations discontinue or disappear entirely, well, I'll treat it like I used to treat the show. It was a secondary thought, and it was something that it was inconsistent at best, and the quality was inconsistent at best. We're trying really hard now to make it a top-quality show. At any rate... That's pretty much all I've got for a rant there. Anything else, Marcus? No. Um, let's go to some listener questions. We have a, a question from Raymond Jenkins. Okay. And he says, I have a customer using WooCommerce memberships. I use that as well. I'm trying to find a plugin or add-on that will allow me to display a directory of members on a page and link to a profile page. I've seen several plugins that are capable, but none that specify working with WooCommerce. Any help would be appreciated. Um, you want to go ahead and see what you've got on well, that? Well, what I've got on it, Raymond, I appreciate the question. Unfortunately, I haven't used that plugin, and after a brief bit of research, I didn't find an easy way to get that done for you, at least as the way I understood what you're looking for. From my point of view, it looks like you'll probably have to hire a coder, coder to create the custom pages and custom calls you'll need. You can try posting the job over at the WPPluginsAtoZ.com jobs board and see if anyone there can help. There's a couple of people there already listed as uh, developers and coders. So other than that, you could try Fiverr or some of the other job boards out there. And my answer to this, and I'll tell you what I use, is I use BuddyPress, and that's how WooCommerce membership uh, assigns uh, individual accounts and things and there are easy plugins out there for buddy press that allow you to do membership lists and and see everything that you've got um try that that that's that's probably your best bet in having a link to their profile page is actually going through buddy press and doing it through a social route that's how i do it it works out just fine so give that one a shot there you go raymond that might help you out and we have another question from Russell Aaron. And the question was, how does one get on the A to Z podcast? I've been on several WP podcasts. I'm a regular on the WP water cooler, and I'd love to do a show on the WordPress support or how we come up with plug-in ideas. And uh, here's what I got on that. Well, Russell, you can go to the WP plugins, A to Z dot com, submit plugins review page, scroll to the bottom and book a time to be interviewed for the show. Now, at this point here, I wanted to have a bit of an executive meeting with Marcus because I'm not sure if everyone knows, but Marcus and I don't talk during the week or in between shows. You know, we might comment back and forth of when we're going to be able to do the show or if one of us can't do it, we need to reschedule and whatever. But we don't actually talk to each other except here during the show. So real briefly, Marcus, uh, you know, I'm not so certain I really want to start putting a whole bunch of guests into our main show that we have right here. You know, the interview show is mm -hmm. a section, a segment I've started, and it's an add-on to the show. Sometimes I'll add it to the end of a show, or a lot of times I'll put it up as a standalone show. I don't mind doing those. But into our show itself, we have had guests on in the past, and they came on the show specifically to bring plugins into the show and talk about plugins. I mean, that's what the show is focused around. Your, your viewpoints, Marcus? Yeah, um... I, I, I realize that we've had a bunch of guests on the show before. Um, it didn't seem to flow as well as just it does with John and I, and that's why I don't think that we've addressed it again. But I'm certainly not opposed to it. If you want to 
set up a, a you know, uh, just email us with what it is that you want to bring to the show and what you could bring. Um, I have no problem with it. We just don't have it with any real regularity. And we do have a set time every week that we schedule for the show. Um, so I, I'd, I'd be interested in seeing what your other contributions to those other podcasts have been. And, you know, perhaps we can find a slot for you. Who knows? Who knows? Well, that's pretty much what we got, Mark or Russell. And uh, you can start by getting on the interview show if you want, though. And uh, anyone who wants to get on an interview show looking mainly for developers and uh, plug-in authors or companies that have plugins they want to promote and discuss. Yeah. All right. I guess guess it's time to jump into the main menu and the meat potatoes of the show, eh? Yeah, that was a wagon load there. That was. Let's get rolling. That's all right. (laughs) Off we go. This week here, I have a couple of great plugins, the first of which is called Timesheets. Now, if you're an employer or you have people who work for you, and I have a couple of people who work for me now, and one of the biggest problems you're going to have to face and deal with is timesheets and managing timesheets and getting them to submit timesheets unless you've got a punch card or something else. Well, this plugin makes that job a whole lot easier for you, especially if you're doing some remote work with your with your people like I do. I have them in remote because we don't have an actual office. So they need to submit timesheets or they don't get paid. And sometimes they forget to submit their timesheets so they don't get paid. Not my worry. Um, at any rate... This plug-in here, Timesheets, you set it up and you go through and do the configuration with it. I found it to be a fairly nice plug-in for doing Timesheets. The only thing I tripped across, which gave me a little bit of grief with it, is I wish they'd had a little more clarification in their setup of it into how you create the customers and how you create the jobs and other projects in for the timesheets to be in there. You actually got to go into individuals and allow certain people to create or add this information so you can manage the timesheets. took me slightly longer than I hoped to get it set up because of the lack of clarity in their instructions. But other than that, it's a really great plugin. It's going to be really nice and smooth. You set it up on your website. You give your person a login to your website, which they probably already have, and only logged in people can create a timesheet. You can set the timesheets on a page that your user can access and uh, it creates the timesheets and automatically submits them, and you can have them automatically submitted to your payroll department if you happen to have one of those or your bookkeeper whoever does your payroll for you. At any rate, great plug-in, timesheets. Check it out for Dragons. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to talk about a really neat plug-in that just came out. I've seen things like this before, and this one seems to work much better than some of the other ones that I've experienced. It is called Content Locker, and it's a tool that helps you kind of take things to the next level. What it does is it comes up with a screen that has Twitter, Facebook, and I think something else Uh, in terms of being able to share it or like the page or whatever it happens to be. You get visitors to pay for viewing content by either liking, sharing, or signing up and uh, spreading the word. And it helps to not only build your own community and your exposure within the site, but you can do things like this. Let's say, John, I had a WooCommerce store and I had a coupon page or a promo code page that had all of the available promo codes that you could use in my WooCommerce store. Uh, Perhaps you can only access that discounts page if you like the website or share the website on Twitter or something like that. And this is a really good way to help popularize and spread the word about you and your content and your products. And for that, I rated it a perfect five out of five. Very nice. I like that idea. And uh, I'm going to look at implementing that on ours for the one plugin that we've got that uh, is currently five bucks, but we've been giving away if you go back several episodes for the download code and you can only hear it as an oral download code. I actually had uh, quite a few downloads of that plugin. Now, so. I, I, I say this with somewhat of humor, but I'm actually considering it. On my MarcusCouch.com contact form, I get a ton of people that are like, hey, we'd like to do SEO for you or, we, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, I'm going to use that on my contact form. There you you want to send me an email? You're going to have to like me first. <laughs> like me to send me an email. That's right. I'm doing it. Get, get all them, get all them uh, SEO people to like you and uh, 
promote you on their their social networks, whatever they may be. <laughs> yeah, you got to pay the price. All right. The next plugin I've got here today is called Instagram Feed by EVM. This plugin here, it's uh, a freemium plugin. It was sent in to us by Amit Porwal of uh, expertvillagemedia.com. Now, to me, it was another Instagram plugin that allows Instagram feeds onto your plugin. It looks to be a bit better than some I've tried, but I did run into a couple of things that concerned me about this plugin. And one of the first was need to create an access token from a third, bar, third party service called Out of the Sandbox. Never heard of them, but when I did a little research on it, it's uh, just a third party service. And since it was accessing your Instagram feed and all your images, it said to me that they're collecting all your social inf info to allow you to use this plugin to, to display the information on the website. Kind of convoluted to me. Not certain I would go with a method like this. Uh, the next was their options. They had a provision for a pro version, but they had no options for buying the pro version. So to me, come on, guys, if you got a pro version, make it so it can be purchased or make it a value to have a pro version. Other than that, mm, don't bother to show it. You know, it started out to be pretty good, but, uh, you know, kind of tough. Uh, I gave it a three dragon rating. I almost gave it a two just due to the things I ran into that were kind of questionable, but... Other than that, you could check it out, and if you're comfortable with it, go for it. If not, well, take my word and say, yeah, there's other Instagram feed plugins. So anyway, Instagram feed plug feed by EVM, three dragon rating. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so the next one is kind of a anybody who uses multi-site knows what this is. Uh, this is called WP Jump, and it's really cool because what it does is it takes the admin bar and uh, one section within the dashboard. And it allows you to set up what other websites and other WordPress installations you have. So let's just say I'm on marcuscouch.com and I have WP Jump installed. Um, I can go up to the admin bar and then have one of my other websites there that has a link to the WP admin page. So if I'm gonna go like, let's say from marcuscouch.com to xsquaredmarketing.com. Uh, there's something right in the admin bar up there that I can just go to the very next site. And that's all it is. It just does that. It's, it's a link to all your different uh, you know, WP admin uh, things and it allows you to jump from one site to the other. Very handy little tool and I rated it a four out of five. That's a very nice little tool if you are uh, got standalone websites. It uh, does pretty much what happens when you got a uh, multi-use site. That's right. Yeah. Same thing. That's same thing. It, that's very nice. Um, does it give you an ability to auto log in, or do you got to log in if you happen to be logged out of the other ones? It doesn't do auto log in, and I don't think I'd ever want that because that means if anybody got credentials on one site, that they would have. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, scary that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scary. But it works with tools like uh, Clef or nice. um, you know some of the other ones. The final plugin I've got here today is called Gocha Geotargeting. Now, this is a premium plugin. It's $39. It was sent to, in to us by Marcin Gocha. And uh, it's available at Code Canyon. The link in the show notes is an affiliate link. Just let everyone know. And while I did not activate this plugin because at the moment I just don't have a use for it and I didn't want to go through all of the work to set up and check something out on it at this point in time, I'm just really busy at the moment, I did check out their demos and also the way it looks and the information. And it looked like a pretty useful plugin in that what it does for you is it helps you put your... Google Maps and onto a bit of steroids. You can add photos to them in different places. You can create complex correlations within the maps, be it for the ability of connecting photos and um, pretty much anything you want. Uh, their description, it's uh, got three functionality modes and uh, something just happened to my show notes that made it hard for me to read them all. Mm. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> they just jumped right off the screen. 
Got to love Word uh, Windows sometimes. Anyway, it's uh, got a pretty decent interface from when I did check out the interface and see how it works. It seems semi-intuitive. You don't have to go through all the settings if you're going to set it up. Some of the default stuff will be perfect for a lot of people. It's versatile in that it's got basic modes and advanced modes. It allows you to create a gallery of images that will sit across the bottom of a map. People can click on the images and pop to different points on the map real quickly. So there's a lot it can do. It looks like it could be quite the plug-in and if you have different stores you want to showcase, if you have different events around town you need to showcase them with images, all, corners, all sorts of things like that. Or if you're a traveler and you just want to showcase all your places you've been on the map with images. At any rate, it looks good enough. I'd give it a 4Dragon rating and uh, check it out. It's called uh, Gocha Geotargeting. Great. All right, final plugin of the day. This is called Sidebar Content Clone, and it does exactly that. It's a really handy solution for just duplicating or cloning all the widgets from one sidebar to another sidebar in just one click. And it can also clear widgets from the sidebar in one click. I used this just yesterday because I was working on a website that had a couple different widget areas. It had a homepage sticky, it had a regular homepage, it had a, a posts sticky and a posts regular and the same thing with the page. So there's really a couple of different things. And if you wanted it on the homepage and also on the individual posts as well, you had to kind of create the same thing twice. And that's just a you know waste of time in my eyes. So I used this plugin, Sidebar Content Clone, and I was easily able to content uh, to copy over uh, from one place to another with little hassles and no extra setup. So it's called Sidebar Content Clone, and I gave it a four out of five. That's a very useful plugin because uh, I could use something like that on some of the themes I've been working on lately where you have different sidebars for different sections of the site, yet you want to use a lot of the same widgets in those sidebars. That's it. That's exactly what it does. Yeah, that's a very useful tool. All right. This week here, I covered up times time sheets, which I gave a 4 to, Instagram feed by EVM, which I gave a 3 to, and did Gocha Geotargeting, which I gave a 4 to. And I talked about Content Locker, which I gave a four, 5 out of 5. WP Jump gets a 4 out of 5. And Sidebar Content Clone gets a 4 out of 5. And a little bit of commercial promotions here. This segment here currently sharing it with others out there in the WordPress community. If you know some great places, send them here. And we'll showcase them for you. And... Uh, this week here, we're sharing it with Adam Silver from uh, WordPress Podcast, uh, Kitchen Sink, WP. Kitchen Sink, WP, that's and right. It's a great podcast done by Adam Silver. Check it out at kitchensinkwp.com. That's correct. And remember, uh, you can if you have any marketing projects or something that may be beyond you, maybe you're developing a site and you want to take the marketing end to a whole new level for a client, then contact me. And that place is x squared marketing and you can just go to x and the number two marketing.com it's contact form there fill it out and i will definitely help you out all right and this show just some reminders don't forget drop into the itunes store leave us a review good bad and different you can obviously tell from this show we will read it out and sometimes we may respond so we look forward to all your reviews and they really do help the show no matter what they are and if you got a couple of minutes, leave us a review at Stitcher Radio on their website or hit that little thumbs up button in the corner. That's right. And how can they contact us, John? They can reach me on my website at johnoverall.com or you can send an email to john at wppro.ca. And you can visit my website, marcuscouch.com, on Twitter at Marcus Couch. And remember to follow this show on Twitter at WP Plugins A to Z. All right. That's all we got for you now. Take care. Bye bye. Thanks for listening to the show. This show is copyright by DonOverall.com. So until next time, have yourselves a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you happen to be out there on the globe today.